you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Yasmin Simone for those of you guys who are new here and today we are doing a makeup look this one right here I love how this came out this video is mainly focusing on the products that I use because my routine is pretty much the same you guys like it really doesn't switch up that much but the products do I am in love with all the products I use today everything you should go buy it <laughs> everything I use today um, I also have everything down below too from the primer to the lashes everything will be down there yeah I really just enjoyed sitting here doing my makeup I don't really get to do this that much anymore so it's really really nice uh, but yeah I'm gonna go take some pictures and I'll let you guys enjoy me doing my makeup so first things first I'm going to put on some primer I literally just did all this but I had to start over because the makeup was not it was not doing what I wanted it to do first things first I'm gonna use my NYX marshmallow primer this is really smoothing and quite hydrating surprisingly I was not expecting it to do that so and it smells like bubble gum it smells so good so if you guys um see this in the store definitely pick it up because it's really really great i already have some makeup still on my forehead so i'm not gonna touch that um because like i said i literally just did all this and cut the footage i've been using the anastasia brow freeze it's pretty much like supposed to give you the effect of like soap brows i think so yeah it looks like this it's clear and i've been using this for a couple weeks like maybe two or three weeks take it on this little dirty spoolie that i don't really use anymore and use it to kind of uh plaster my brows to my face i feel like this product is so weird like i don't know if i like it or hate it i mean i clearly don't hate it because i'm using it but i don't know if it's if it does what i thought it was gonna do like my brows don't stay put all day you know like they stay put for like a little while and then it's kind of like they kind of do their thing but I still use it anyways so this kind of dry a little bit because it's a little bit wet so while this is drying I'm gonna put on some lip balm now I've been using this using this lip balm it's the Laneige lip sleeping mask very I feel like this is such a fancy product because it's so expensive it is very nice however I somehow am always reaching for my lanolin cream um someone gave this to me um at my baby shower it's like you're supposed to use it on your nipples and stuff to help like crack sore nipples but one day i was in the car and i, I didn't have any chapstick and i used this amazing like i have not gone back i don't use this for my nipples by the way because um i just prefer to use something more like natural this is like made from like wool or something i'm pretty sure I don't know what it is it just works like just a tad bit better than this but I still use both because I paid for this so I still use both but I always reach for this one I'm gonna use my brow micro filling pen this is by benefit it has like three little um, teeny spikes and pretty much you just use it to create like hairs in your brow okay I feel like this is better so yeah as you can see little teeny prongs and you basically just flick 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 cool I think I really like this zoomed in I don't know why I like it but I just like when you can see I'm gonna do um, that translucent powder trick where you like put powder on your face just because my makeup has been sliding around my face so much lately and I do not feel like dealing with it and put some powder just like kind of in the areas where my makeup does tend to slide a little bit this dual ended brush is from Huda Beauty by the way um, just do a light layer of powder just so my makeup does not slide all right before i go into foundation i'm actually going to color correct which i haven't done literally in like two years but i was in ulta and i saw this and it brought back so many memories you guys know la girl pro concealer is like og so um and i have bags like i literally do not sleep can we talk about that like why do new parents n not sleep i thought this was going to be over 
by like nine months yards like nine months but no i still don't sleep <laughs> You guys know what it is. I saw this thing on TikTok that basically said that it's it's called like revenge revenge something. Like basically where you don't get enough time for yourself during the day, so you you basically make time when your baby's asleep. I do that. Like when Yara's asleep, I will spend hours on TikTok and just not go to bed. And that's why I'm sleep deprived. I can't even blame Yara. Like I really can't. It's my fault that I'm sleep deprived, but Anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna color correct under my eyes. Because why did I put so much on this side and not this side? And by the way, I'm a little bit sick. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm sick or if it's just my allergies. You guys, if you guys have really bad allergies, you know what I'm talking about. When you really just cannot tell if you're sick or if it's hay fever. I count it as being sick either way because I feel sick and I've been feeling sick for a few days now so next I'm gonna go into foundation I'm using my Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation in the shade 8.75 this is my second time using this foundation the first time I used it it was actually in the car we were driving to like Philly I think and I'm actually gonna use my beauty blender yeah we were driving to Philly and I had just bought it and I used it. I don't recommend doing that. I feel like to get a feel of a foundation, you really need to just sit down and like use it. Hold on, let me zoom you guys in. I really like when people zoom in when I do makeup, so yeah. Um, this foundation is very light coverage. I don't know why, I feel like since I saw everybody using it, I was expecting it to be like a fuller coverage than it is, but it's very, I don't know what I was saying. My card was full um but i think i was saying yeah this foundation is, is not as full coverage as i thought it was so i usually go in with like a few layers of it By the way, I really want to say I'm really proud of myself for picking this shade out because I picked it out online actually um, by using the little shade matcher thing that Sephora has and I feel like it's a really good match. It looks okay. Next, I'm going to use concealer. I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel. This concealer is just an OG. You guys, I feel like I'm always going to go back to the OG products. Like, there's no concealer that will ever, like, take this one's place in my heart, no matter how good. It's just really, like, timeless to me. Alright, I'm gonna let that sit because if you guys know this concealer, you know, um, letting it sit is a good idea so i'm gonna go ahead and cream contour using my instant age rewind concealer in the shade deep bronze just a little bit and i'm going to take my contour into my eye into like my crease it's so gloomy outside i feel like I feel like where you live really makes a difference in how like your content is like I feel like people who live in like sunny LA and like Atlanta you guys always have really great weather you can always go out and take pictures here it's always gloomy it's cicada season so we're starting to see like cicadas come out if you guys are not if you don't live in an area where like cicadas are like normal pretty much every 17 years there's this huge brood of cicadas they come out they swarm they mate it's kind of disgusting but also kind of cool um mostly disgusting and i just feel like i can't like i don't want to go outside when i know that there's like cicadas and like it's it might rain like it just sucks sometimes like it really makes me want to move <laughs> just so i can like create better content but these, these things do not matter. These are totally first world problems. Just something that bothers me. I just wanna say, this is like my first time doing my makeup since Mother's Day, which was like over two, three weeks ago. 
Um, I did not post my Mother's Day vlog. I just, you guys, it's been rough, okay? I just didn't, I've been really just not in the mood to film. That's really how I've been feeling. Um, but yeah, Mother's Day, we pretty much, we just hung out. Honestly, we didn't do much. Um, Adam, for my Mother's Day gift, he got me um, a week's worth of meal prep because I'm always complaining. <laughs> about food and like eating i just don't like cooking and i feel like i just i'm always just complaining about not feeling like making food for lunch and stuff so he got me meal prep which was so sweet yeah my sister she got me a gift too she got me um all the ingredients to make lox bagels <laughs> i got food for mother's day pretty much um and she also got me my favorite trace leches cake from codetta bakery and my mom got me a gift too. She got me this little washing machine. You guys know those little washing machines that you use to wash your brushes? I don't think they really work, but she got me that, which was really nice. Um, yeah, it was a good day. I might still post it, but I don't know. We'll see. Right now, Yara is in the living room with my sister. Um, she won't take a nap. I think she's going through another sleep regression or something. I don't like using the word regression, but like, that's really what it is. <laughs> Cause she just has not been taking her naps. So she's in there with her playing um, while I'm in here. That looks really good. I kind of want to highlight my face more, but I feel like it's highlighted enough. I don't know. I'm gonna highlight just a little bit. I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer in the shade uh, 425. Tan Sand, Tan Sand. I don't know why I just read the number. No one reads the number. Um, I'm just gonna do a teeny dot, like right there. Just to brighten up a little bit. I feel like this, this routine that I have now is made up of a lot of OG products that I used to use but stopped using because I don't know I just feel like when you're in a rut you go back to the basics and I've been in a real makeup rut so for setting powder we're going to use another OG this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder it's just the regular translucent one you guys know or probably not because I haven't been posting makeup stuff but I've just been using the Laura Mercier um it's the uh, what is this one? It's the translucent setting powder, but it's like the tan one. Translucent honey, that's what it's called. So it has like a little tint to it, but the translucent one is just, it's just amazing in my opinion. Like it, it never gets old. The other one does have like a tint, so it's not always completely translucent. Yeah, I just have been really liking this one again. For my face. Oh, you guys, I meant to, what I've been doing under my foundation is I've been cream blushing, but I forgot to. So this is the cream blush I've been using. It's by Rare Beauty. It's in the color Love. It's literally called Love. It's like this really beautiful terracotta color and I completely forgot. I don't want to do it now because I feel like I put on too much powder already. But you guys, this blush is amazing. I'll use it in my next video for sure because it's really great so but I'm just gonna take this translucent powder and kind of set my face and I'm gonna cut my cheeks too we all know my face ain't symmetrical this is how you make your face symmetrical you do this so I'm gonna put some translucent powder I'm gonna bathe in this pretty much I'm just gonna put on my brows just a little because I do not want an ashy brow okay so yeah I'll leave it there for like literally a second and then I'm gonna dust it away
I'm gonna use this palette that I got from Benefit. It's the Fire Queen Four Scope palette. It has like two blushes, a highlight, and a bronzer. I've never used this before, so I hope it does not go left. We'll see. So I'm gonna use the bronzer color. It does not look brown girl friendly, but you know what? Bronzers can be deceiving. So let me just try it. I don't think anything's happening. I can't tell if anything's happening. Okay, I don't think anything's happening, you guys. I feel like that blush is like, it's, I mean that bronzer's too, um, it's too light. So I'm gonna go ahead with my Beauty Bakery Snackaroons bronzer instead. I love this one. I've been using it for a long time. It just gives you that like really beautiful warm tan look that I really need. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna apply some more lip lip balm because my lips are so dry. This, yeah, that that's what I was looking for. The warmth. I feel like the um, the other one definitely is very light. It didn't. It did something, but it really wasn't that noticeable. Go back into that Benefit palette and I'm actually gonna use, I might try this blush. I really don't know you guys because I ain't never used this blush before. Hold up. I just love my Rare Beauty one, but I'm scared to put it on. I have too much powder on my face for a cream blush. Mm -mm. So I'm just gonna use this one. It's called Starlet right there oh it's not bad it's pretty it's very light I'm gonna do my eyes really quick I'm only gonna use one eyeshadow for my eyes maybe two I'm gonna use two actually so I'm gonna take this ColourPop nude mood palette and it's just like a very it's neutral, okay? It's a bunch of neutrals, and I'm going to pop um, one of these, maybe this one, in my crease. It's called Mugged Off. I just want like a brown in my crease really quick before I go in with the next product. This is a very lazy eyeshadow look. <laughs> this is a, it's, I don't really know what to describe this as. It's a eyeshadow eye soot. That's what it's called. It's by the brand. Um, ritual de fill. I hope I'm I'm hope I'm saying that right. I don't know. Um, it's called an eye soot. It's very similar to the ColourPop shadows that are kind of more like a jelly, bouncy, not completely dry, more like a wet and dry eyeshadow. I don't know how to describe it. Um, like a little pressed jelly shadow. I've never heard of this brand before. I'm gonna use this little brush and try to dig some out. Put that on my eye. It's like sparkly brown, pretty, you know. It's not giving what I thought it was supposed to give. It's not giving what it gave on my hand when I swatched it last week, but you know, it'll do. I'm gonna try to use my hand. My nails are really long right now. Yeah, this looks this looks way better when it's applied with your with your hand, but it's just very hard to like actually get the product out of here I don't know who came up with that design but the shadow is really pretty I did kind of want my eyes to be a little bit darker brown so I'm gonna go back into this nude palette and use this brown color here this is just me I feel like ColourPop products their quality has really gone down like a lot like I really don't care for their eyeshadows I use them because I just have so many I probably get PR from ColourPop like the most <laughs> um, but I really just don't care for their shadows that much. Like, I really don't. They're very, um, flaky and... I don't know, I just prefer... I'm, I miss when ColourPop used to be, like, when they, like, only had lippy sticks and stuff. Like, 
that's the color pop that i miss it's just like their stuff is not consistent anymore you know i feel like a lot of brands are like that now unfortunately which makes makes it so hard to like makeup shop you know i don't know you guys that's just how i feel i'm just taking a little bit of that brown under my eye I kind of wanted like a more like clumpy look. I think that's what it's giving. It's cute. I'm gonna do my lips really quick. For my lips, so for our nude lip that we're about to do, you already know, I probably will never do any other lip color other than nude, maybe red. I don't know. <laughs> so I got these ColourPop lip glosses. They are the Lux, actually they're lip oils. Um, one is in the color Play Vista and the other one is in Skinny Dip. I'm going to try these out today. Uh, I'm going to use this one. This is the NYX Lip Liner in Urban Cafe. It's really creamy, a little bit redder than I wanted. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury one in the color number 3, Intense. I actually saw this trick on TikTok that I've been doing and I forgot to do it. Damn. But basically you do, you do like this with your lips and then you line your lips. Amazing. Like your lips look bomb every single time. I don't know why I didn't do that this time. And this really helps me like overline my lips. All right, so I'm gonna take this lipstick. It's called Buttercup from Huda Beauty. And just kind of fill in my lips a little bit. Mm hmm Like that. And I'm gonna take a lip oil. I never used these before. I'm gonna just try both of them. I'm gonna use the darker one first, <laughs> literally. Ooh. That's really cute, hold on. It's, it's giving lip gloss, but not like sticky. This is cute. They smell a little funny, but they're really cute. All right, that is really, really cute. I love it. This might be the new combo. Hold Hold on. Guys, well, this is the final look. I'm gonna go change my clothes really, really quick. I'll be right back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm in love with all the products I have been using. Like, that was the main purpose of this video was to show you guys the products because the routine is pretty much the same. I don't really have much else to say. Um, I'm just admiring this look. I haven't had makeup on in so long, you guys. So it's just weird seeing myself with it on. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.